guys, it's another Lantern Festival, when a traditional snack shows up on every Chinese family's table. The delicious glutinous rice ball known as Yuan Xiao or Tang Yuan. Tang Yuan is a southern treat while Yuan Xiao is found in the north. A lot of people think that Tang Yuan and Yuan Xiao are the same thing, but in fact they have fundamental differences in taste, making, and storage. So Yuan Xiao is made and sold on the same day, for it can easily crack when refrigerated. But you can get Tang Yuan in the supermarkets any time of the year. And the fillings also vary among different regions. I think I've only had black sesame Tang Yuan before. So today I'm excited to do a little taste test. Okay, now in front of me we have Yuan Xiao and Tang Yuan both in black sesame fillings. First Yuan Xiao attempt. So Tang Yuan is a lot softer, but I think I actually like Yuan Xiao better. This one right here gives me a more put together feeling, if you know what I mean. Okay, next we have savory Tang Yuan. Wow, this is actually giant. It's kind of like dumplings, but with sticky rice wrapper. And I think people from Jiangsu and Zhejiang province sometimes eat savory tang yuan with chicken broth. Okay, moving on to the next one. We have yan cheng ofen yuanzi. So instead of sticky rice, this one is made of lotus root flour. Wow, this is really good. This one feels like a peanut candy. And this is actually a Chinese imperial dessert with a history of more than 200 years. So Cantonese love their sweet soup, tang shui, and this is how they like to eat their tang yuan, serving any kind of sweet soup. This one I have right here is red bean sweet soup with a touch of floral syrup, I think. You guys have to try this. Okay, next we have chili fried black sesame tang yuan with pickled mustard green. Wow, doesn't it sound intense? It smells intense too. I've never heard of it. The black sesame fillings is really sweet. The pickle and chilies are really spicy. Okay, that's actually a strange combination of ingredients. I'm gonna have to water it down. Okay, now it's time for some novelty. This one right here is Tang Yuan in a little rabbit form because it's the year of the rabbit. And this one right here is durian flavored Tang Yuan. Doesn't smell that strong though. Okay, yeah, it's coming. Okay, this one I highly recommend. And last but not least, Little rabbit Tang Yuan. Wow, this is too cute to eat. You can never go wrong with black sesame filling. Happy year of the rabbit, guys. Oh my God, the food coma is real. I swear if I have one more bite, I might actually turn into a Tang Yuan. One thing I love about Chinese cuisine is its variety. You can always find something you like. And when it comes to Tang Yuan, everybody has their own preferences. Sweet or savory, traditional or noble. But just like its shape and symbolism in Chinese, yuan, meaning round or a circle, being together with your loved ones and family reunions are what really matters. Here's wishing you all a happy lantern festival. Mm. 好吃吗? 非常非常好吃